eight Jeep Gladiator features you may not know you have. Well, good morning, everybody. How are you today? Pretty good here, and that's right. Here are eight Jeep Gladiator features that I bet you didn't know that you have. Let's start with one of the simplest ones, one that we use all the time, or one that we could use all the time, and it's actually right back here in the back. And of course, it is the gas cap holder. Now, you may have noticed these protrusions here, right? Obviously, it's not this one, but if you're going to put gas in your Jeep and you want to secure this cap without having it hit against your paint, dangle all over the place, right there. Did you know that's what that was for? Pretty awesome. Number two, the seat belt clips. You know, I hear a lot of people complain about seat belts bouncing around and making noise all over the back of their truck, right? Well, did you know you have seat belt clips? Let's take a look. I'll show you what I'm talking about. And what I mean, of course, are these things right here. These things are so you can fit your seat belt in there to at least cut down on it bouncing around all over the place. Now, that's not to say that you're not gonna get any noise in here because obviously you still have the clip up here, but it does cut it down from doing this all over the place and blowing around when you have either the top down or the top off rather, the windows down, just kind of secures this a little bit so that you don't have all that bouncing around and stuff. Next up, and this is pretty cool, and I've noticed this all throughout the Jeep, and that is they tell you the tool sizes for some of the areas that you can take off. They're actually stamped right in the metal. Now, you can see here, and it depends on the light that you're in uh, as to how well you can see this stuff, but they note right here what the size is that you need to be able to remove these bolts. For instance, if you wanted to take the doors off, they're on the front, they're on the back, and they even show you under the hood some areas I'll show you real quick. Oops, see that? I went to get inside the Jeep to open the hood. How about that? Let's go ahead and see if I can do this with one hand. Kind of have to push down a little bit. There we go. Go over to this one. There we go. Then my Jeep, of course, has the struts on it, so it just goes right up. Right here, you'll see, if you want to take the engine cover off for some reason, it tells you the size that you need to be able to remove these bolts. Pretty darn cool. Just a little uh, added extra touch. Number four are bed board slots. Now these things are awesome, especially if you uh, get yourself some kind of a board to put in the slots. You guys can see right there on the sides, I have my custom Gladiator bed board here. Uh, but there are slots in the sides there that you can fit a board in. Now, why would you want to do that? Well, if you want to keep stuff from rolling up against the back of the bed, uh, this is perfect for that. You know, if you go to the grocery store or something and you have a tonneau cover, obviously, or maybe you're just hauling stuff and you don't want it to roll all over the place so that you can reach it when you open the bed, right? Now, you will notice, if we can see there, up on the uh, wheel wells, there are slots there as well where you can actually lay a two by four. And then back here in the back, again, more slots where you can lay another two by four so that you can clear the wheel wells and actually put four by eight sheets of material in the back of the Jeep. And in case you didn't know, they also have this little holder here to be able to prop the gate up like so, so that you can sit stuff across here and have it at the same height as what these boards would be here if you had boards in these slots so that you can support a 4 by 8 sheet of material right out of the back of the Jeep. And of course there's one on each side. Number five, and this is one I really don't care for, and that is reverse disabled when the driver's door is open. Not something I can really show you, you have to actually experience it. And you may have, you may have put your truck in reverse, tried to back up, and it didn't go anywhere and started beeping at you. I've had this happen several times and was really quite surprised the first time that it happened. But it, I guess, is some kind of a safety feature, you know, where if you have the door open and your foot's hanging out or something, I guess, um, and you're in reverse, it won't go backwards. Now, that's kind of a drag because I guess I'm old school. Sometimes when I'm reversing up against something, I want to see what's laying beside me here, or just make sure there is nothing laying beside me here. And when I look out of the window, 
straight out of the back without opening the door, I can't see the ground here. So your only choice is to keep the door shut or open it, make sure there's nothing there, or roll the window down, I guess, stick your head out of the window and make sure that uh, there's nothing laying here beside your truck. Number six, and this is a pretty cool little feature, I think, and that is a place to put all of the bolts when you remove the top and the doors, anything that you need to make the Jeep fully convertible, right? Where it's located is behind the driver's seat, I guess, in the back, actually underneath the storage area. So behind this storage compartment, you may have noticed this, or maybe you didn't. But if you take this off, you can see there are a bunch of slots and things in here. And this is to put all of the bolts, all of the hardware, when you remove the top so that you don't lose it, I suppose. And another thing that's pretty cool about this is it actually comes out, right? So as you're taking these bolts off, you don't have to run around the truck to stick them in here. You just take this with you, load it up with all of your bolts, obviously, and then just stick it back in here, put the cover back on, and you are good to go until you need them again. Awesome idea but for by Jeep to be able to keep things organized and safe, I guess, when you're out running around so that you don't lose any of those bolts or things that you need when you take the top off. And what I'm talking about, of course, are these bolts here. And you can see they're not very big. It would be pretty easy to lose these if you weren't paying attention. Next up is storage for your key. Now, I don't know if anybody else has noticed this. I have seen a few people that have talked about it. But let's hop in here and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Right here in your center console, you may have noticed this slot, right? And some of you, I know, have wondered what's this for. Your cell phone, like the cell phone I'm video on right now, will actually fit down in there and, uh, and holds it pretty well. But what its true intended purpose is, is to put your key in. Look at that. It sits in there perfectly, right? Now, the only problem with this is when this happens. Obviously, then, it does not fit. I'm surprised that Jeep didn't accommodate that. I guess you could stick it in there that way, uh, but then you'll have this uh, protruding key here sticking out. And uh, that's one of the things I really don't like about the Jeep key is this thing comes out so easily. Otherwise, it's pretty nice. And I got to say, I did do a mod. Uh, there's another video on the channel about that, uh, where I actually went with an aftermarket solution for the key. I did one of these, and mine still fits in there and probably fits in there better than the Jeep one does. Of course, I have my keys and things on here too, but without them, you guys can see, it fits seamlessly down in there and probably even a little better than the Jeep version. Number eight, and I've saved this one till the end because I think it's pretty darn cool. And actually, I didn't discover it until a few weeks ago myself. And it's inside, let's go ahead and hop back in here. And what I'm talking about is the sun visor here, right? Did you know that this thing extends? Now, what do you mean extends? Well, of course it does. It does this, right? No, no, more than that. Let's go ahead and unhook it. And if the sun is over here, let's say, just beaming in at you, right? And half the time when that happens, you put the visor over and you still have this space, right? Where the sun still always seems to be just in the right place to come through and hit you, right? Well, Jeep thought of that. You can pull out your sun visor, extend it that way, and cover up this space, at least most of it. This is really behind your head here, so unless you're turning and looking that way out of your window, shouldn't be a problem. But this thing actually extends. How cool is that? Well, there you have it. Eight Jeep Gladiator features that you may not know you have. Let me know what you think. I think they're pretty handy. Some of them are pretty cool. That visor thing is just awesome, I think. Anyway, leave a comment down below. Let me know if you knew about all these things or maybe some of them and if you use any of this stuff. I'd be curious to know. Also, real quick, if you haven't before and you're interested, check out my other channel. It is Rob Motive, all about my 2020 Toyota Tacoma back there. Don't forget to smash that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.